That's right, ladies and gentlemen, making his way, making his date as a professional mixed martial artist. There you see Nathan Miller. That's right, Brandon. Nathan Miller, five years of training out of warrior combat, has a boxing slash wrestling background. He told me he told me backstage that he's the first stand-up, and he's definitely, this is the most exciting night of his life as he makes his debut here tonight on Victorian Episode 1. There again, one of our lovely ring girls making her way around the ring, showing off the cards. The round one here. That's right, that's what you get here, Victoria. You get the best fight, you get the hottest ring girls, you get the best fight in action. Here we go. Definitely got to wonder what's going through the head of Nathan Miller as he makes that step from the amateur ranks into the pro ranks here tonight. There you see his ring corner getting him prepped, getting him ready for this fight. Everything is sanctioned here by the Virginia Boxing Commission. We don't skip here in the Victorium. Everything is legal. Everything is legit. And again, that's why we weren't able to get, there was some trouble getting those two kids that you saw just a few moments ago on the ring card. They weren't able to have their exhibition fight. And honestly, I was definitely looking forward to seeing these two kids throw down. But speaking of throw down, I'm sure Nathan Miller is going to do just that. He told me that he was definitely looking forward to getting it on with Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. That's right. It's just like Matt Stone said. Nathan Miller, me and Matt had a chance to talk to him in the back. It's very rare to see a wrestler who is this excited to get out there and actually have a stand-up fight. He shows a lot of confidence in his boxing. And I'm really excited to see what he can do with those hands. That's right. Might not want to blink in this one, folks. These two are known in the amateur ranks of handling bad. Might not blink. Might miss some action here. I mean, definitely the one guy's name, his, his nickname is Lightspeed. How can you not be fast with a name like Lightspeed? That's right, we might see some stand-up action here, we might take it to the ground, it doesn't matter, wherever the action goes, we will follow. That's right, we're going to go ahead and take this time, we're going to pull up our tail of the tape for this fight. There you see, not much height difference, not much weight difference, and both men are undefeated, if you will, but one man is going to earn their first win. One man is going to end, earn their first loss here tonight. And here he comes, Lewis Lightspeed Johnson, out of the Hybrid Training Center, Taekwondo black belt with a wrestling background. He told me backstage he's definitely going to try to use his kicks to keep at a distance, and then if he needs to, take him down and end the fight that way. Well, it definitely should be interesting. The boxing skills of Nate Miller going against the kickboxing skills of Lewis Lightspeed Johnson, I'm ready for this fight. Like you said, Johnson coming in with that Taekwondo background. We know what to expect. It's going to be elbows. It's going to be knees. It's going to be kicks. He's going to be trying to set his pace. He's trying to get his uh, his distance right and not let Nathan come in. But according to Nathan, from what he was saying, he's not looking for the takedown. He's looking for the knockout. And definitely you got to admire, like you said, Tim, the wrestler that's ready to throw down and use his nuts as he does the stand-up boxing style against the Muay Thai, the, the Taekwondo style of Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. That's right, you absolutely want, you don't want to be one-dimensional in that ring. You've got to have a well-rounded attack. If you just come in as a wrestler, you're going to have trouble with the stand -up. If you come in as a striker, you're going to have trouble with the grappling. You're going to have to be a well-rounded mixed martial artist. And both of these gentlemen here tonight fit that bill. This should be one of the greatest matches that we have here tonight. I've been waiting for this all week, and here we are tonight. Let's do this. Now, Matthew Stone, you and I have been watching mixed martial arts for some years now, and you know as well as I do that every match goes to the ground at least once during the fight. And definitely, this match is going to prove to be no different. And when it does, I'm going to give that slight edge to the grappler, Nate Miller. Yeah, I hate to disagree, Brandon, but I think this is going to be one of those rare cases where it might actually just stay a straight up stand up fight. The way these guys are talking in the back, I don't think either one of them had the intention of taking it to the ground. But if it does go to the ground, like you said, I'm gonna have to go. Well, really, it could go either way. They're both wrestlers. They both have a strong wrestling background. They're both uh, making their debut here tonight. We just got to see the talents of each person. Well, there you hear the sound of the bell. Our referee for this matchup, Mike King, is he's going to be prevailing over the, the all going from there. You see the first jab on the part of Nate Miller. Oh, what oh, was yeah. that? It looks like he almost tripped. No, he's setting up for a spin back. back kick. Oh, devastating body yeah. kick. But Miller holding ground with devastating punch combination. 
These two aren't holding anything back. I thought there might be a feeling out process. They're swinging for the fences early, folks. Oh my goodness, a head kick almost landed. It definitely looks like both men are coming right out, but it looks like Lewis Lightspeed Johnson is being more the aggressor, and he's definitely got the ring control. Oh my goodness, they're just throwing blows out of nowhere. You can call these people a lot of things, but you cannot call them liars. Neither one of these men have any intention. Oh my goodness, oh, there he goes. There he goes, there he goes for the takedown. He hit a devastating body kick to the rib. Lewis Johnson has been finding a home for that body kick on Miller. Miller just answered back with a body kick and went for the oh, takedown. Nice oh, nice kick to the chin. Answered back with a kick to the face. That's right. He's trying to pin him. Oh, here we go. The first takedown right here. A good sprawl by Miller. Let's see what happens here, Tim. I don't, I don't really know what uh, Johnson was thinking there. He was dominating on his feet. He was keeping the distance. He had him against the cage. I don't even know why he went for the takedown. He was doing such a good job on his feet with the stand up. He might have went into uh, instinct mode. Sometimes wrestlers, when they get hit, they just involuntarily go for oh, a kick. Oh, what a oh, that was a couple of knees. There's a third knee on the part of Lewis Lightspeed. Now, oh, and a kick. Finds his way right underneath the armpit. Definitely can do some damage and knock some of the wind out of those lungs of Nathan Miller. And as you can see, look at the ribs of Miller on that right side. They're definitely black and blue and red. He might have trouble breathing early. When you work the body that early with that much power, it's going to definitely affect you in the later round, if it goes to a later round. But I agree with Tim wholeheartedly. I don't know what Lewis Johnson was thinking by trying to change levels, by trying to change strategies, when he was definitely dominating in the middle of the ring. Oh, nice knee by Miller. Oh, my goodness. Johnson answered right back. That's right, he's finding a home for that jab right to the guard of Miller. I'm, I'm waiting to see if he employs any of them crazy uh, oh. spinning Taekwondo kicks. But right now, he's settling for just regular body kicks and hit kicks. That's right, Miller's body and legs will be tested. Like you said, when you're fighting the Taekwondo guy, that's what they do. They break you down body and legs. But let's not take anything away from the toughness of Miller. He's absorbed some big shots thus far. And he has not backed down one inch. Good stall. Take down and make some pay with it with a couple left and right. But tenacious Lewis Johnson. Continues to take down the completion right there. There he got on top. My goodness. And definitely, the, what is that, the start. butterfly guard going on right now. Yeah, it looks like he's setting him up for a sweep. Maybe even trying to set him up for a pass. Trying to get a, a full guard, a triangle set up. So he's definitely isolating that one arm. Has the butterfly hooks on the inside. He's definitely stacked and trying to rain down punches. But Miller's doing a good job of defending right now. Looks like punch block one, I believe. You're absolutely right. Nathan Miller trying to do everything he can to keep his opponent close. But Lewis Johnson able to land a couple of punches. But Nathan Miller able to push him away and now right back into full guard. Yeah, he should have really not tried to jump up so quickly right there because you've got to see what the man's going to do, whether he's going to stand up, let you up, or whether he's going to jump back down and pounce on top, which is obviously what he did in that situation. And that was a devastating elbow. We're going to have to see how the back game of, of Miller is. He hasn't really been tested yet, and we're about to find out what he's got right here. Lewis Johnson just raining down punches, driving an elbow right to the cheek. And there's a couple of stiff forearms right to the face of Nathan Miller. Well, you see Miller's using his guard, and Johnson's posting up Phil Howard. What Miller's doing is got to take up his feet and break him back down. When he's high up like that, the punches are going to... Try to come out the back door, but there he's finding a couple, couple shots to the ribs and more shots to the face. Right. Normally, Lewis Johnson would try to pass the guard, but he might be one of the rare fighters that can do devastating damage from that. Oh, it looks like we're going for an arm bar. My oh, goodness, he's almost got it could be bar. over. He That's found deep. it out of nowhere. That's right. Oh, but he was able to escape. My goodness. And well, it could have been over just like that. The submission skills of Nathan Miller almost prevailed that quickly, ladies and gentlemen, that was and a, turned the tide. That was a really mistaken defense by Mr. Johnson. Looks like he's trying to lock up a triangle. He has set him up for a triangle. He's going for an arm bar from the triangle. He's got several options here. Uh, Lewis Johnson really needs to be careful. All I can say he's is got that, the arm oh bar. Oh, my goodness. Down arm bar. The submission he's, skills he's of Nathan Miller. He took the pressure off. It's a perfect reversal. That's right. He, did, he decided not to have the worst the right way. He rolled over his back, relieved the pressure. Got it. Now he's in the north-south position. This match, this fight was almost over. Nate's light speed Johnson held on and now he's in the dominant position. And definitely you see how Nathan Miller's holding that knee up trying to keep him from passing. He might be going for an anaconda choke right here. Miller needs to be very careful. He needs to get back in the half. Oh, oh there he goes. Oh, he, the guard. he almost spun too far. A little overzealous. And there's the sound of the bell. And my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, our second fight is going to be to the second round. What action we've had here thus far in episode one of the Victorium MMA. Like you said, to see two guys come in, talk about they're going to stand up, they're going to knock each other out. To see them come in and actually do so much 
great transitional jujitsu. You, you know, the, the submission attempts, the reversals. It's really, I don't know what to expect from this fight coming up in the second round. That's right. We're going to see how, we're gonna have to see how their body shots and kicks, the Miller's grip come into play in, in this round and maybe the third round. He's definitely got to have a hard time breathing. Both men seem to be all right. You got to know it's got to be hurting a little bit. Every time he takes a breath or another shot to that rib, it's got to be hurting that much worse. Well, I called it at the very beginning. If it went to the ground, and Nathan Miller was going to definitely show us something. And he showed us something indeed with those submission skills. Almost had a triangle choke. Almost had two arm bars. And my goodness, what is this next round that I have in store for us? The sound of the bell. And this next round is underway. Let's see if Miller can turn it around and definitely pick up the pace. I believe I heard the corner saying you definitely got to pick up the tempo, be first to shoot, and not take it second. Well, I definitely think that that was a close round. We're going to have to leave that one up to the judges. To me, that one was too close to call. I say it's 10-10. Oh, another hot, another hot kick. Definitely using his type one no skills here. See, Johnson's playing this for the long run. He's coming out. He's trying to work the kicks. He's going for the head kicks. He's going to start working the body. He's really going to try to work this in case it goes three rounds. Some body and leg shots. Oh, my oh goodness. My that haymaker out of nowhere connects. And Lewis Johnson goes down. Grab, grab the inspiration. Oh, but right back on top. Stuff. That's right. He, he got rocked there, but he recovered quickly and ended up with a double leg takedown in the side mount right now. He's definitely in the position he wants to be to rain down some more ground and pound on Miller. Oh, definitely. You hear the thump of him hitting the his head hit the back. I did, punch. Matthew Stone. I did, but definitely we can't forget about the submission skills Got the of Nate out. Miller. This is not good. It's not where Miller wants to be. Miller does not want to be here. He, he, needs to get, he needs to get his elbows back down. He needs to block their knees. He get his hips on his hips. He needs to try to do anything to get out of this. Or roll them, trap them, sweep them. Anything to not be in the mount with these punches raining down. Because even if they're not landing 100%, it's still points for him. It's still points, and you're not intelligently defending yourself. It looks like Miller's nose. Oh, my broke. goodness. It's definitely. It, oh, it's definitely. Bloody look. He is right hand, left there hand. There is the referee it. Stopped Michael it. King has stopped this matchup. TKO victory due to strikes on the part of Lewis Lightspeed Johnson. And, and I, definitely. I can't argue with that stoppage at all, Brandon. Like you said, that was just breaking it down. There was no defense. That's right, that was some of the most accurate ground and pound I'd ever seen. I have to say at least 99% of them punches landed on uh, Nathan Miller. I think he has a broke nose. Referee had no choice but to stop it. Miller was taking too much punishment. He has nothing to be ashamed of. He will put up one hell of a fight here in his debut with Victoria. You're absolutely right, Matthew Stone. None of the fighters that we've seen thus far should be ashamed of anything. It's been spectacular thus far. Great fortitude shown by all the fighters, by all the competitors here. And you got to give applause to everybody who has the guts to get in that square circle. Again, an impressive victory for that man right there, Lewis Johnson. The man fighting out of Virginia Beach gets his first win as a professional mixed martial artist here in the Victorium. And again, his prize, a picture taken with some of our lovely ring girls. Like you said, Brandon, Lewis Johnson got his first win in, his, uh, in the octagon tonight as a professional fighter, and Nathan Miller got some very valuable ring experience. That's right. Apparently, it was the kick. Tyson one Bill Miller out did the boxing of uh, Miller there. It was a great fight. I can't wait to see what happens next.